Now there's a very interesting comment I want to make about the cargo space in these cars. The cargo space in the back of the 8th gen sedan is 12 cubic feet. The cargo space in the back of the 2023 is 24 and change cubic feet. It's over 24 cubic feet. So you're thinking this can fit double the stuff. Well, there's one unique caveat to this that isn't really discussed online, but the sedan version of the 2023 11th generation Civic is five inches longer than this car. And they have the exact same wheelbase. So the five inches is extended out the rear which in turn makes the trunk, since the rear seats sit in the same spot, it makes the trunk five inches deeper on the sedan, which can be a game changer if you're trying to carry certain items. For example, our double wide jogger stroller for the babies cannot fit in this car unless I angle it up over these seats. It cannot lay flat in this car. On the eighth gen, even though I have half the cargo volume, it is, a deeper trunk and you can fit it in this opening and push it all the way in and it touches the back of the rear seats and just gives me enough clearance to the uh, to the trunk here and this trunk is you know pretty lightweight and not as uh, sensitive I should say as the hatchback so when you load stuff in the sedan you, you can really just slam it down and uh, wait for that thing to latch with the hatchback you don't want to do that because if you have something sticking up too high, you can risk smacking it into the glass and shattering the rear window. So you gotta be more careful in a way with the hatchback of what you're loading. But I did wanna mention that the uh, distance from here to the back of the rear seat is significantly shorter on this car compared to the new sedans and compared even to the eighth generation uh, Civics sedans. Okay, so on the eighth gen to the back of the seat to this plastic shield looking straight down you're at about 39 and a half inches of depth in this car let's take this over to the new civic sport which has double the cargo area and you know, i'm mashed into the seat right now you're looking at three feet so you're losing three and a half inches of depth already with cargo depth in this car which like i said you know Yes, it does make things more practical with having that extra height on the hatchback, but you do lose certain practicality if you need to put longer items in there. And I found, like I said, the big problem is the stroller for the girls doesn't really fit nice in the hatch. It always fit good in the sedan. And it's worth noting that you lose three and a half inches of trunk depth in the new car, yet the new car is almost, you know, an inch and a half longer than this old car. And that really all comes back down to the way these cars are designed with the body lines. The wheelbase is longer on the new one, so, and the steering wheel is about in the same spot. So you have more rear leg room in the new hatchback. But since the wheelbase on the new car is pushed back even further than the uh, eighth gen and your hood is so long, it almost looks like your interior starts further back in the car. And since it's only an inch and change longer than the old generation, and you got more rear leg room, it kind of just pushed everything back and your trunk is three and a half inches shorter as a result, even though the car's longer. So um, is the extra rear leg room worth it to me? Uh, it doesn't bother me. I would probably be fine if it still had the same proportions as the eighth gen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. Stay tuned for more. Please give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.